What's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond. Another Pico CTF video. This challenge is called Practice Run 1. It's for 50 points in the binary exploitation category. I don't know how much of this is actually binary exploitation. You'll see. You're going to need to know how to run programs if you're going to get out of here. Navigate to this location on the shell server and run this program to get a flag. Easy enough, right? Okay, so let's actually just go ahead to this directory. Again, we're going to be on the shell server, so we simply need to grab that link if we haven't had it before, and SSH with our account as our username. Let's actually make a directory for this. I'm sorry. Got to get that good practice in. Practice, run one. Let's hop over there and let's SSH to that account, YouTube, at shell.com. Great. Enter your platform password. And now we are in there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and set the stage to do this automated in the simple one-liner. But let's just jump over there to grab that flag quickly so you guys can get what you came for. And if you want to see that sprinkle sauce at the end, we'll tackle that. This program is called Run This. All you simply have to do is dot slash run that program and it will pump a flag out for you. That's the challenge. Just running the program. That's it. So we could go ahead and copy and paste that, move that in there, get our points, and that's fine and dandy, but we'd like to be able to make this a simple get flag.sh and flag.txt that we can encapsulate and work with and maybe save for some later use. I don't know. Again, good practice to just document our solutions. So what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and create a little private key for me to be able to get into the server fast and easily. So I'm going to use SSH keygen on my local computer. You can see I've just started a new shell down there. I'll go ahead and put this in my current directory which is home john pico it'll go ahead and create i don't want you to actually overwrite the directory my bad let's do home john pico id rsa so it has a full file name in there no passphrase and now we simply have an id rsa which is my private key and id rsa.pub which is our public key so we can take this and go ahead and put that in the authorized keys directory of our account on the shell server so let's make directory dot ssh move in there and let's just add a little uh, authorized keys file. So authorized underscore keys, cat, cat, authorized keys, paste that in. And now we should be able to simply disconnect from here, create a new session connection. If I were to use SSH tag I, and in my parent directory, I have my private key, which we'll just use to authenticate. And now we're immediately logged in with that command. We can stage this just a little bit further because SSH will let us run commands as another argument once we're connected to the server. So if I had practice run.1, all we have to do is just take this actual path here and we know the binary is called practice or run underscore this. So that will just pump out the flag after it connects to the server. So that's nice and easy. Now we can run our save flag alias, which should go ahead and create that as a get flag script, create a little flag.txt for us. And we are done. Everything that we've wanted to automate put together is simply there. We can run finish. And now we've got that automatically set to complete. And that is that. Simple. Just a little bit extra fluff for a crazy trivial challenge just run this binary but i hope that was good and fun and worthwhile if you like some of that stuff please keep watching please do like the video comment and subscribe love to see you guys on the discord server there is a link in the description love to see you on patreon love to see you on paypal love to see you on instagram love to see you on twitter love to see you on facebook love to see you on linkedin